what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? More stories are circulating about Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein's gross and predatory behavior. And this time, a director on one of Weinstein's projects is calling him out for recasting a lead role because the actress was, get this, unfuckable. Filmmaker Michael Canton Jones spoke to BuzzFeed, revealing Weinstein recast the 1997's B Monkey because Canton Jones's choice for the lead role, Sophie Okanito, didn't arouse him. Canton Jones says he was set to direct the film, which was produced by Merrimax, with the Weinstein brothers attached as co-executive producers, but still needed Weinstein's approval for the lead role. The basics of the deal, he said, was we were going to find an unknown and we were going to cast her as the lead in the film. There was extensive casting. We saw many, many girls, maybe 100 or so. And I ended up, I thought Sophie Okanito would have been great for the part. However, things took a turn during a meeting in Beverly Hills as Weinstein repeatedly asked Canton Jones, do you think she's fuckable? Things got heated between the two and Canton Jones was eventually booted from the project and B Monkey's lead role went to Asia Argento, who recently accused Weinstein of rape herself. Okanito hasn't commented on the revelation. Canton Jones added that he's surprised by anyone who has publicly stated they are shocked by the allegations against Weinstein. He went on to say that anyone who didn't know, didn't want to know. He said, you only had to spend five minutes with Harvey to know what type of person he was, to know his nature. He said, the guy didn't try to hide who he was. Kind of like Trump. Trump told you who he was before he became president. It's not like we're shocked. He told us who he was. So that's what everybody's getting. Quite frankly, Sophie dodged a bullet. Imagine what happened to Asia would have happened to her, likely. So she dodged a bullet. And I just can't wrap my head around the fact that he said that Sophie Okanito was unfuckable. Who the hell is this ugly, beastly motherfucker to say something like that? I mean, that's a beautiful woman. Sophie Okanito? Come on, man. What was that about? You can only surmise that maybe she didn't have the right skin complexion. Sophie is lucky she had a director who had her back because being that young, he could have easily taken advantage of her or passed her off to somebody else. Because that's what goes on in Hollywood. I mean, the casting couch is real. It ain't even about the couch anymore. It's the, it's the floor, the bed, the car studio, wherever you can get it in at, it goes down. So, not a major surprise that this is happening. And to me, it's not even a surprise the number of women it happened to. It comes with the territory. In order to avoid something like that, you really got to know who you are and you got to have people on your team that's right there with you. Every meeting you take, right there. They're not in the room, they're standing right outside of the door. You got to have your people with you at all times. It's important for these young women and even young men to have their parents involved. Shit, you go, 
Go show up for an audition, man. Make sure you're with your mama and your daddy. A good family member, a friend that's older, mature, make sure. If nothing else, make sure you take somebody with you. That type of stuff is least likely to happen when you're not alone. I'll leave y'all with this. I would imagine there's a plethora of women of color out there who are relieved that they were not Harvey Weinstein's type. Imagine having that pig face anywhere near you. No more talk. What, what the lady's is talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.